We are here today to talk about SBA 504 lending as it relates to your businesses um, here in Oakland. The uh, SBA, the U.S. Small Business Administration, has a variety of loan programs, each meant to meet a different economic development goal. This program was designed specifically with the mission in mind of making it easier for business owners to own the space where they operate versus lease. Um, there's a number of benefits of becoming your own landlord, um, including building equity in an asset, but perhaps most importantly, stabilizing that occupancy expense. I think, um, you know, we're seeing it pretty much across the board, especially in the Bay Area with rent rate, re, uh, excuse me, rent rate increases. Um, and sort of that, um, Volatility is part of the reason this program was founded to sort of mitigate the risk of that and help business owners invest in a long-term home for their operations so that you can all continue doing what you do best and, um, you know, continue to em employ people in the communities and um, the, the way that we sort of serve that mission we'll get into in more detail in a minute. But that's sort of just a brief overview um, of how I see CMC financing in this program potentially acting as a resource for um, each of you and for the group as a whole. So a little bit ba of background about CMC financing. Um, we are what's called a certified development company. So we are a not-for-profit, mission-based lender that essentially represents the SBA um, for this particular program. We, TMC Financing, have been doing this type of financing since 1981, which is when the program was just um, first rolled out. So as the program has evolved and grown and matured, as has TMC, um, and it's been a very, very special journey that we, we view as a great honor. Um, over the course of those 30, uh, 38 some odd years, we've had the pleasure of working with in excess of 5,000 businesses, each um, with the success of purchasing the location that, to house their operation. Um, in that, we those um, businesses have generated an estimated of 60,000 additional jobs, um, which of course is directly related to the mission of the program and why the um, this financing is available to business owners. Um, to get into a little bit of the highlights, I think um, the SBA 504 loan program is very attractive from a term perspective, from a logistic perspective, from a capital requirement on your end perspective, um, but just taking a step back, there are, of course, a variety of ways that a business owner could finance a commercial real estate transaction. Our mission, our, our vision is really just to help you explore. Um, I do find that this program oftentimes ends up being the most attractive and the best suited for an owner-user transaction, but if you want to explore other options along the way, we can help with that as well. Um, but this program differentiates and why I feel strongly that it really, really, really does serve its mission um, is the fact that you can purchase a property, you could construct a property, you could refinance a property for that matter with only 10% down payment. Um, typically, if you were to go to a bank and get a conventional commercial mortgage, that would require anywhere from 25, 30, maybe even 35% down payment. And, you know, that, that's a big difference from a capital requirement on the front end. So our mission is to minimize the capital required for you to get into this space. Um, in addition to the lower down payment, going along the lines of serving the mission of stabilizing your business's occupancy costs, the other attractive feature of this financing is that the interest rate is a below market fixed rate loan. We offer a 25 year fully amortizing loan, 
a 20 year and a 10 year. Um, there is no limit for the total project cost. So I think another really unique feature is, um, you know, the U.S. Small Business Administration that gives the perception that, um, you know, perhaps there's a limit to the to the size of the business or the size of the project. And, you know, really this program does play in the space that covers anywhere from, um, you know, an industrial or office condominium purchase all the way up until, um, you know, $20, $25 million, say, manufacturing facilities or large projects of that nature. So regardless of sort of the the specifics, the program can still be a great option for you. Um, continuing on the interest rate, um, this is just meant to represent that the rates currently are at historic lows. So really now is a great time to seriously consider making that, pursuing that purchase transaction if that's something that is of interest. Um, I think sellers are, property owners are motivated to sell, the interest rates are low. Um, I think now is as great as time as any to sort of explore this further for any business owner. Um, this slide sort of just summarizes what I was um, alluding to earlier in that don't let small deter you. Our mission again is to just be a resource for all business owners. Um, Every business deserves to preserve their working capital for other areas of growth. We believe that you shouldn't have to invest, um, you know, additional or excess capital into the real estate because that money could be utilized to continue growing and hiring more employees and, um, you know, so just basically giving that flexibility for any business of any, any magnitude. Um, the basic requirements are we do only work with uh, privately owned and for-profit businesses. And the real um, differentiating factor, this program, as we talked about, is designed specifically for business owners. So in order to maintain the integrity of the program and that mission, the occupancy requirement, what we call the occupancy requirement, is that your business must occupy 51% of the total space at the property, at the site. So you could um, supplement the your income with rental income from a third party tenant, but you, in order to qualify for this program, you, your business will need to utilize most of the space. Um, moving on, oops, excuse me. Moving on to um, just the general structure, as you can see here, um, the way that this financing gets put in place is quite unique, and in my opinion, another benefit of the program. And just briefly, um, say in this example, the building purchase price is $3 million. Um, shoot. Um, the end result is that your down payment would be 300000 or 10%. Um, the balance would be financed in, in partnership with a first mortgage lender. So um, the way that we arrive at that 90% financing is by partnering with banks or credit unions, private money lenders, what have you. And the typical structure is such that our first mortgage lending partner does 50%, or in this example, 1.5 million in first position. We, through the SBA, do 40% in second position. And then you, of course, come in with the 10% down payment. So this is a very parallel process going through loan application, um, loan approval, loan funding, things of that nature. We really want you to feel as though you're applying for one loan. But at the end of the day, another benefit is that you actually do have two separate pieces of debt in place that you can, it inherently gives you flexibility 
going forward into the future. Um, in this example, you can see that our current rate is about 4%, which is fixed for 25 years. The bank rate um, will vary depending on who we partner with, but that's a good estimate of what you could expect. So what I think is really intriguing or interesting here is the monthly payment estimate of that $14,856 for a $3 million transaction, very likely that that monthly payment on the mortgage, the combined mortgage, um, is equivalent or very close to what the rent payment would be. So often, you know, we explore a lease first own scenario when, you know, you're first entering the process. And often what we realize is that lease rates, you know, because they've continued to go up and interest rates have continued to go down, you actually could be saving money on a monthly basis, which is, in my opinion, just something that's really neat to sort of point out and explore. Um, okay, so here we have just some case studies, if you will. Um, I think it's you know, these are just some local examples. Um, each is unique for its own reason, just like every business is unique for its own reason. Each um, was a really exciting transaction, and I think it does illustrate sort of how this program and PMC financing can be a resource um, for the continued success and growth of each of your businesses. This example was for a school called Genius Kids in Concord. And the business owners, it was actually three partners. They had owned the business, Genius Kids, for a number of years, and they were leasing their space. Um, they found out, you know, well into their lease that the property owner was going to sell the building. And with that, that sort of got the wheels turning as to, well, we don't really want to be in a situation where, you know, we might risk having to relocate, um, you know, a, a, a daycare such as this, the location is key, you know, it's part of the families, their, their students' um, day, daily routine, and so the prospect of having to disrupt that because of the property um, trading hands wasn't one that they were really willing to, to risk. So they came to us and we explored it and we were able to provide them 90 percent financing to purchase the property so that they are now the owners of the building they are also landlords to the other tenants in this space and they still have their home for their business so um i think that's just a, one example of when and how and where you know we might be, get connected in the process um to take a step back i think another thing that's really interesting is we really do have the pleasure of working with businesses in all industry types so i think another thing we tried to highlight with these case studies is the variety of not only the transaction but the variety of the industry of the business owner um the the um the needs of the business owner the you know the location so on so um at the end of the day the 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 um component that remained constant is that they were able to take advantage of the sba 504 and 90 percent financing but that really was the only thing that's the constant the rest is of course, unique to each project and each business. So I think that that makes it um, even more interesting. Um, this this example was for a company called um, Heritage Paper Solutions, and they specialized in the detailing and the manufacturing of um, cardboard products, and primarily for the wine industry. So the boxes or the cases that um, the wineries would ship their their um, wine out to their customers. Their boxes, some wineries have very detailed, very intricate designs, and, you know, they need to have someone like Heritage Paper Solutions to, to meet that need for them and for their business. So 
Heritage Solutions came to us. They also were leasing their space in Lathrop. Um, it was a 230,000 square feet fulfillment center um, that they were leasing. And similarly, they found out that the property was going to be listed for sale. And their lease was such that their rent rate was continuing to increase. And so the sort of uncertainty of the transaction going or going a different direction, again, wasn't one a risk that they were willing to entertain. So that's how we got connected and we were able to lend them 90% of a $10.5 million purchase. Um, you know, some businesses in these scenarios could probably qualify for a different loan and do likely have the cash on hand, but it still doesn't make sense to put in, you know, two, three, three and a half million on a purchase like this when you could preserve that for your continued growth. And that's exactly what they did. Um, and I think another really interesting feature here is they actually came back to us about a year later after the purchase of the real estate and wanted to explore doing an equipment only purchase. So I think that's another unique uh, feature is that most of what we do is real estate financing or typically there is a component of real estate, but sometimes it's just equipment. And so depending on you know your line of work and your specialty, if you're interested in financing an equipment purchase, that's something that we could still utilize this program for. Um, in this case, it was a $7.2 million um, custom made, huge, 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 um, precision die and cutting machine that was made overseas and they you know without this program I don't know that they would have been able to secure that piece of equipment which was a game changer for the business so um, moving on okay I believe this is the last case study that um, we have included but what I find very special in this situation is the number of loans that we were actually able to work with this business owner to secure. Um, I think uh, his name is Dick and his first purchase with us was a warehouse purchase. His next purchase was a grocery store. His next purchase was a restaurant and then a parking lot neighboring the restaurant. So um, you know, as his business continued to grow in different directions and he added new um, revenue streams, whether it be from the wholesale business, the grocery business, the restaurant, and so on, this program was still able to support his journey. Um, and then the last transaction that we've worked with Vic on to date is a actually a refinance transaction. Um, so that is a good segue. Um, the, this program had a pilot program back in 2010 as part of the JOBS Act to extend this SBA 504 financing for refinance projects in addition to the purchase or construction. And that program expired in 2012. And since 2012, each um, party involved has been really lobbying with Congress, with the government, with the SBA to bring it back and we were successful. So we can now utilize this 90% financing, um, whether that be with cash out or not, either way, this program can be a resource. Um, so I think that's just uh, another, another situation that we might have an opportunity to help. Um, and then this is just, I won't spend too much time on this, but this is just, meant to illustrate how a refinance transaction might um, unfold. And uh, essentially, say it's a $2 million building, current market value. In this example, we would lend 85% um, because of the equity already in the, into the building. Um, this business owner would have been able to secure the 25-year fixed rate loan to refinance the outstanding debt that they currently had, in addition to accessing $400,000 for 
operating expenses and, um, you know, continued expansion in other areas of their business. Um, so without coming in with any more capital, they were able to actually access, you know, significant funds and secure more attractive um, terms on their real estate debt. Um, I think, you know, this is something I sort of <laughs> continue to focus on. But again, I do think that a unique factor is that any type of property could be a fit for this financing. Um, and I think um, sometimes that's an area that really needs the increased access to capital for one reason or another. The conventional bank lenders are not very motivated to extend the loans on certain types of properties like gas stations, um, wineries, car washes, things of that nature. And those are projects that we love because they are they're an opportunity for us to really help as well as um, it's very well suited for this type of financing. So um, with that, I think that is all we had prepared for this afternoon. And I, um, you know, definitely open if we want to open up the conversation or if we want to just follow up at a later time. And, you know, I'd love to learn more about what you all do and, um, you know, your focuses in, in the community because that's, that's really what we're here to support and your vision is what's most important. So thank you, thank you very much. And I hope to connect further very shortly as well as I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day.